N810 recently released chat streaming feature. So that means instead of waiting for a full reply, your chatbot can now respond word by word in real time, just like ChatGPT. So in this video, I'll show you how to set it up and also connect that with a custom chat widget. So let's begin. So these are some of the prerequisites that we need to be aware of. So before we configure our chat streaming, ensure you have the latest version of N810. So if you're using the cloud version of N810, then you're automatically running the latest version. So you don't need to worry about anything. But if you're self-hosting it, then you don't see the streaming option in your notes, right? So in that case, it's important to update your N810 to the latest version. And if you're already on the latest version and still don't see the streaming option, then just try removing and re-adding the nodes right to your workflows. So this way the nodes will pick up the latest changes and you'll see the streaming option there. Right? So this will ensure you'll have uh, access to all the latest streaming features. So these were the prerequisites. So now let's actually look at how to enable streaming in N810, right? So to enable chat streaming, you need to configure both input and output nodes in your N810 workflow. So what I mean by that is chat streaming requires enabling streaming on both the node that receive the message and also the node that generates the response, right? So basically you need to configure streaming on both input and the output nodes. So talking about the input nodes, we have two different options, right? So either we can use the chat trigger node or the webhook node. So these are the nodes that that um, accept input from from outside world, right? So, so that's essentially what's called as input nodes. And talking about the output node, we are going to use the AI agent node, right? Because currently this is the only node that supports uh, streaming output. So this is what we'll be using for our output node, right? With this with this information, now let's actually get into our N8 and dashboard and start building. So like we've seen. We can either use chat trigger node or the webhook node to accept input right? as our input nodes. So for this demo, I'm just going to use the chat trigger node. I'm going to drop it into my canvas here and just connect my AI agent node. This is going to be a very simple workflow. And the goal of this video is just to show you how to enable streaming. You can, of course, extend this, this workflow to, to your requirements. But for this demo, I'm just going to stick to the, the most uh, basic uh, workflow right. for this chat model i'm just going to use my uh, open ai model i'm just going to connect this over here and that's it so we have a very simple uh, workflow here that acts like a, a chat chat bot right so this accepts the input and our ai agent generates the output and returns it back so this is how it looks like so now let's actually enable the streaming option right so like we've seen here this has clear instructions uh, over here in this documentation on how to enable this, but uh, I'm just going to show you anyways, so that we don't have to read that. So inside our chat uh, trigger node, what we have to do is just make sure this, uh, this option is enabled, which is make chat publicly available, and then select the mode to embedded chat. And after this over here, you can see another drop down it says add field. And over here, we, we need to select the, the response mode, right? So if you just click on this, you see three different options. Uh, for our demo, we're going to choose streaming. And this is what we need to do on the input node. And talking about the output node, which is our AI agent. Over here, again, if you just click on that and click on the add option drop down, you can see this option at the end, which says enable streaming. If you just click on this, it gets automatically enabled. And that's it. And this is all you need to do to enable streaming. Of course, you can just extend this. You can add more and more nodes um, to, to this AI agent to continue um, this workflow. Just click on save. And to be able to use it outside, we we'll just need to activate this. Right? Now, let me just activate this. Okay, just close this. That's all, we have built the backend, right? Now, in order for us to test this, uh, if you just click on this open chat, uh, the native version of this, this um, chat testing section here, it actually doesn't support streaming. So even if you say like, uh, write 50 word essay, I misspelled essay, but that's okay. So the whole response is given to you at one shot, right? It's not, it's not really the streaming. So, so this native version of N810 doesn't really support streaming, right? So in order for us to test this, we have two different options. So either you can use or build your own custom front end, right? a custom chat interface to, to interact with your uh, N810, 
or you can just use uh, a tool called as n8 and chat ui so this is a tool that i built which lets you create fully customizable beautiful chat widgets for your n8 in in minutes right so if you just go to n8 and chat ui.com you can see uh, over here in the landing page you can actually uh, build your chat widget however you like like you can customize it however you want and then just copy the embed code and then paste your uh, n8 and webhook url over here to start interacting with your with your n8 and backend right so this essentially gives you a front end layer so what we're going to do is we'll use this to connect to our n8 and backend right we'll just click on sign in let me just quickly sign in to my uh, dashboard over here i have already built a widget so all you have to do is just click on this add widget and give it a name let's say demo widget let's say call let's call it demo streaming widget and you have two different options of embedding it either you can choose standalone widget so uh, standalone widget doesn't come with uh, real time analytics and uh, and uh, added security options and many other features right so this is more like a self managed uh, widget right so you can just customize it and copy the code and paste it and manage everything on your own but if you are looking for something more uh, dynamic and added features like uh, real time analytics centralized management and built in protection then you can choose managed widget so for this demo i'm just going to use the managed widget just click on this so as soon as you uh, name your widget and uh, create one you get this default uh, widget with default customization right options here so you can just customize it however you like you can just uh, change each and every part of it like the background color of this window uh, and everything right so there's this whole lot of options that you can uh, play with and once you're happy what you can do is just go over here into the embed code section so this is where we'll connect our uh, chat widget to our n8 n right so if just click on this connect to your n8 n webhook so this is where we need to paste our uh, webhook let me just go back to my n8 n dashboard and uh, copy this chat url very quick go back over here paste this make sure your your workflow is active right so that it's accessible from outside and you can also configure authentication for your webhook right so you can choose between uh, you can set up basic auth or jwt auth just to make sure uh, it's protected right, with, with additional uh, security if you just click on test connection and see so it just makes a dummy request and make sure the webhook is live and now it's connected right and that's it so what we've done is we have uh, built our own widget within a couple of seconds right with custom configuration and also connected that widget to our uh, uh, chat bot over here which is which supports streaming so now let me just actually take a look and test it out from here in the uh, preview widget right right from the dashboard so let's say hi and it replies back right let me just change the color i don't like this to white Yep, as you can see, as you make changes, those get reflected in real time. So let's start interacting with our chat widget, right? Let's say, hi. So let me just say, uh, write a hundred word essay. As you can see, the response is being streamed word by word, right? So we didn't have to wait uh, for the whole response to be generated and shown at once. So each word was displayed over here as it was being generated like just like you see in in um, chat models like chat gpt or claude or any other uh, chat models right perfect and once uh, you're happy you've tested everything you can just copy this this embed code over here just click on copy and then paste it in your website right so in my case what i've done is I have this simple uh, HTML file here, which just says hello world. I'm just going to paste it in this HTML uh, right before closing body section. And I'm just going to reload this page again. And you can see the chat widget pop up over here. And if you just click on this, again, I can just uh, have the same conversation. Let's say, write a short story. You can see uh, the response is being streamed and uh, the entire response is loaded in real time right perfect 
So this is how you can uh, set up streaming in your NADN and also connect this with a custom front end, right? A fully customizable chat widget uh, built with NADN chat UI. Not just this, you can build your own chat widget uh, or front end if you want, but to make that process easier and simpler, uh, you can use this tool. Not just that, if you're using managed widget in your NADN chat UI, you also get real time look into the analytics, right? So you've seen, we just had one conversation uh, right from our uh, embedded uh, widget, right? You can see uh, all analytics over here and also uh, in, in, the, in the world map over here, you can see where it came from. And as uh, users interact with your widget, you can see all the analytics like the important analytics and metrics of your chat widget right from your dashboard, right? Now, let me also show you how you can set up the same backend using webhook as the input node, right? So you can just drop this chat trigger node and connect it with a webhook node, or you can just use a pre-built workflow that I already have over here. Right? All you need to do is just copy this part and paste it over here. Right? This approach follows the traditional method, right? Where you have this webhook node and then you have uh, the respond to webhook node at the end, which is responsible for sending the response back to the user. So what we need to do is just drop this node that we don't need. And over here inside this respond section, you have the streaming option over here, just select this. Inside our AI agent node again, you have uh, this option called as enable streaming and make sure this is enabled. Just click on save and now copy this production URL. Uh, go back to your uh, uh, NAD and chat UI dashboard. Click on edit. Now let me just connect it to this. All right. Now it's saved. If I just go back and refresh this page again, I should see the chat widget again as usual. Let me just say write another 150 word essay. Uh, it's asking me for the topic. Let's say any topic. And I should see the response being streamed in real time as usual, right? So we did not break anything. So all we did was just to replace our input node uh, from using chat trigger node with uh, a webhook node, right? And everything worked as usual, right? Perfect. So that's how easy it was to set up chat streaming and connect that to your uh, chat widget, right? So before I wrap up this video, I would like to touch upon some of the most important uh, points, right? So no widget configuration required. So if you're using n and chat UI widget, then you don't need to do any changes on the front end part. All you need to worry is about setting your, your backend and just connect that to your widget, that's it. So this was a very quick video about how you can set up chat streaming in N810 and start using it with a chat widget, right? So hope it was useful. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll see you again in another video. Until then, take care. Good day.